America's children are being taught to hate the United States. That's according to a New York Post article. The leftist controlled Department of Education has been force feeding multiple generations of America's youth anti-American indoctrination. Now it has reached a critical point. A new documentary details how one family stood up to that indoctrination to save their children from learning to hate the USA. I was born in service to those in service to this country. God, family, country are clearly what this country is all about. That's why this incident with our daughter was so shocking. There is something dark that has happened in America. Something really sinister has been afoot in our country. She grabs me on the back of the throat. I could already tell that my teacher didn't necessarily like me a whole lot, but I didn't think that she would ever do something like that. This is the wake up call. This is real and this is not a drill. They are changing the scape of our country by changing its future leaders. Bad things that happen to you in life aren't just to punish you, they make you stronger. We are powerful together. We the people is strong. A house divided cannot stand. We are not a house divided. We are united for our freedom. And joining us now is the two behind the story, the author of the book, Raven's Mantle, Fighting the Betrayal of America, on which the, the documentary was based. Welcome to the show, Raven Harrison, as well as the producer of the film, Frank Panico of Exes in the Sky Films. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, this is a really, really moving story because you know, I think about myself with my children who are not, you know, patients, your daughter's age yet, um, but and they're in a wonderful school. But I think about this could be anyone's child, Raven, that went through this, anyone who's been taught American values and who loves America, a child who's been brought up to love our country. Tell us about the the, the opinions that your daughter expressed that that so ired her teacher. Well, the opinion, and thank you, Emerald, because she was anyone's daughter. Uh, I'm the daughter of two retired Air Force Lieutenant Colonels, and I'm married to my husband, Major Paul Harrison, retired United States Air Force C-17 pilot. And I'm telling you, no parent wants to get a call 10 minutes before the end of the school day saying that their child is being expelled. We ran to the school, and what the essence is they had some mock election in school that we knew nothing about, and when patients voted for Trump, they tried to expel her. And that just got me fired up, regardless of her patriotism. But what are they doing in these schools? And why are we standing for this? I, for one, am not standing for this. I, and I'm glad you're not. I, the fact that the teacher physically laid hands on your daughter, I, I can't even imagine how upset I would be. I know you had to be just livid. I was livid, but let me tell you, Emerald, I have to thank God because if I had known in that moment that she had put her hands on my child, we'd probably be having a jailhouse interview. I did not know until later. Patience, when we got to the school, was broken out in hives. She was hyperventilating. She was splotchy everywhere, and she was unable to articulate to us what had happened. So we had to get that from the teacher. I didn't find out until later that evening when we had gotten home that she had picked her up by the throat, had dug her, her nails into her back, and set her down in detention. When she came to me later, she was saying her neck was bothering and itching, and I looked and I noticed that she had marks on the back of her neck, and she goes, that's where the teacher grabbed me, and the teacher was 5'10". She picked her up by the throat, and sat her down in detention. And it was everything I could do. I was like, Paul, get in the car. Let's go. <laughs> we're, we're on a hunt. And I'm telling you, it, it's one of the things that no parent would ever have to, that she was grabbed by the throat. Thank God there wasn't any damage physically to her for that. Frank, we keep hearing stories of kids being targeted in largely public schools, but also some major private institutions for their political beliefs or the values that they're raised on. What particularly struck you about Raven and, the, and her family's story that you felt the world need to hear it? Yes, well, thanks for having me on, Emerald. Um, <clears throat> well, the thing is, it's a small story, but it's a huge story. It's, um, you know, there was a child who chose to vote for Trump and she was retaliated against and punished for that. 
And, and that's what's happening all across America, you know? And um, Raven didn't get to that part, but um, one of her, her detention, she had a right, um, Hillary Clinton is the rightful president and Trump is an ass. So um, I can let Raven elaborate on that. But um, it's just crazy, the, uh, the left wing bent in our school system. And I really have to hand it to, to Raven and Paul Harrison. They raised some wonderful children. And um, the, the film speaks of it, the importance of raising children that have statutes that align with God and statutes that align with the for, our forefathers, you know, to, to learn the way this country was meant to be. And um, <clears throat> Raven and Paul instilled that in their children. And um, one of the best parts about, no offense, Raven, about the film was getting a relationship with their kids. Um, they're really awesome, awesome kids. Um, um, Patience is so intelligent. And there are other some son major. He's awesome. He's like my favorite little kid. But, um, you know, it, the, the film stresses how we're, we, sh we need to raise our kids, you know, from as soon as they can understand, because these schools are pumping out liberal, woke, you know, um, Marxists. And we have to do our part to, to fight that as well as we can and um, be informed about what's going on in your school. That's why so many people are, are homeschooling these days. They're just, you know, they're pumping out all these indoctrinated children. And Raven brings it up in the film. And I agree. What happens is these are these are our former leaders that we're pumping out. You know what I mean? They might be president one day. So uh, the evil one has a long game in, involved. You know what I mean? He's thinking, well, what am I, what's going to happen 10, 20, 30 years? And that's what's happening. These kids that come out, you know, they might be president one day. They might be a governor one day. They might be a chief of police one day. And um, we're forming these people with jelly as backbones yeah. and just sheep that listen and you know and this is this is our way to um <clears throat> alert the public to this you know scripture states uh, take no part in unfruitful works of darkness but expose them and we plan to do that i, I love it and I, I was just so impressed with with patience and you've done such a wonderful job raven with your family you have a beautiful family and i understand that patience is nearby right can, 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 can we actually talk to patients we can actually talk to patients Hello. oh hi patients it's you know hi. first off you are blessed with a wonderful mother so i i I'm, you. you know i know you know that um i was really struck by something you said that's even in the trailer that you know when you go through something like this it makes you stronger how patience has it made you stronger well, it's made me stronger because I was, well, I was clueless at first. I never knew about this shadow curriculum, all the stuff that they were mm -hmm. hiding from us. So then, even though I hated what happened to me, it made me aware of what's actually happening to other kids, what's actually going on in this world. It's like the red pill and the blue pill. You actually find out what's going on. And now I can do something to help other kids be aware of what's happening too and help them fight back. You know, patients, I, I I love talking to young people like you who have a love for our country and are strong and have a bright future. Do, do, do you think this has ignited something in you? Do you see yourself being a future leader? It has because my grandparents, my dad, they all fought for our country. They were in the military, they were in the Air Force, and it's given me this motivation. I want to do something for our country. I want to help. I want to fight, even if it's not, you know, in the battlefield with guns, you know, hand to hand combat. Mm -hmm. I still I want to fight. I want to do something for our country. It's giving me the motivation to be a leader like my mom. Well, Raven, I, I just know you and Paul are so extremely proud of your daughter. I'm proud of her yes. and I'm just meeting her. Um, thank you for sharing this story. And I thank you for joining us today. And Frank, um, thank you so much as well for making this film and, and making sure more of the story gets out to the rest of the world. Uh, Frank uh, Panico, people can go to xsintheskyfilms.com, correct? xsintheskyfilms.com to see the movie. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Thank you very much. And if you want to learn more about um, the other people I'm working with to do the film, you can go to the the roarnetwork.com. There's some awesome, awesome new organization also that uh, Raven's in charge of. 
So uh, thank you very much for having me on the show and God bless you. And I appreciate it very much. Yeah. Be sure to check out the Roar Network. Go to xsinthesky.films.com to watch the movie. Thank you all. We, we switched it up a little bit. We, we added, I, I, I threw the control room for a loop there, but I, I thought it was important to talk to patients. She's so inspiring. And speaking of inspiring and inspiring our children to be patriotic and to understand our founding principles, there's a new tool for not just homeschoolers, but anyone looking to counter this indoctrination in the public school system to help teach your children about our founding fathers. We discussed that with five times August Braz Gestimas, who's part of the project after the break.